Hi and welcome! In this video, we'll take a closer look at the profile menu. We'll get to know the two sides of it, in the Experience Studio as well as in the app. So, every user has a profile menu with their profile picture or icon. In the app and in the Experience Studio, this menu has different functionalities. In the Experience Studio, you can use the profile menu to directly access your user profile or to open the app. The help link takes you to the staff-based support portal where you can find detailed documentation on specific features of the platform. Here, you can get to the idea portal. If you're using the idea portal for the first time, then you will be asked to confirm the terms of use. In the idea portal, you can submit a new idea for a feature or browse submitted ideas by other users. The profile menu also allows you to open the staff base website, the staff base blog, or to sign out. In the app, you can use the profile menu to view your profile. Here you would change your profile picture. You can access the Experience Studio and you can see posts that you bookmarked. The profile menu also brings you to your settings. Here you can adjust notification settings. You can turn your overall push and email notifications on or off, as well as those for comments on posts that you either wrote, commented on or liked. You can also adjust the notifications for posts that you were mentioned in. Settings also allows you to adjust your language settings. And back in the profile menu, the last option available is to sign out. A user without administration rights will have the same functionality overall, but they will not be able to see Experience Studio in their profile menu. We'll explore the Experience Studio further in the following videos, and you can always find more information in our support portal.